In our discussion on ARM assembler, we discussed that the ARM assembler input is assembly language source file that can contain assembler directives, macro directives and assembly language instructions. Now we will discuss assembly language instructions in context of ARM Cortex-M4 microcontroller and microvision key tool chain. Each line in an ARM assembly source file can be empty, a command, an assembler directive, a macro invocation, or an assembly instruction. So let's discuss a general instruction format for an ARM assembly language instruction. Assembly language source statements can contain four ordered fields namely label, mnemonics, operand list, and command. Let's talk about these four fields one by one. The field one is label. Label is an optional field of an assembly statement. Labels are alphanumeric names used to define the starting location of a block of statements. Labels can be subsequently used in a program as an operand of some other instruction. When creating the executable file, the assembler will replace the label with the assigned value. Labels must be unique in the executable file because an identical label encountered by the assembler will generate an error. ARM assembler has reserved first character of a line for the label field and it should be left blank for the instruction with no labels. Defining appropriate labels make your program look more legible. Program location can be easily found and remembered using label. It is easier to use certain functionalities of your program in an entirely different code. You do not have to figure out memory addresses because it is a tedious task especially when the instruction size in your microcontroller is not fixed. The second field in the assembly language instruction is mnemonic. Assembly language consists of mnemonics each corresponding to machine instruction. Using a mnemonic you can decide what operation you want to perform on the operands. Assembler must translate each mnemonic into their binary equivalent. The mnemonic field cannot start in column 1. If it does, it will be interpreted as a label. The mnemonic field contains one of the following items that can be machine instruction mnemonic, assembler directive or macro directive. The third field is the operand list. Some of the instruction in Cortex-M will have no operand while other might have as many as four operands. The number of operands in an instruction depends on the type of instruction and syntax format of the operand can also be different. Normally the first operand is the destination of the operation. An operand can be an immediate operand a registered operand, a memory reference operand, or an expression that evaluates to one of the above. The last field of assembly language instruction is the comment field. The comments are messages intended only for human consumption. They have no effect on this translation process and indeed are not acted on by the ARM assembler. The comment field of an assembly language instruction is also optional. A semicolon signifies that rest of the line is a comment and is to be ignored by the assembler. If the semicolon is the first non-blank character on the line, the entire line is ignored. 
and if the semicolon follows the operand of an instruction then only the comment is ignored by the assembler a source statement that contains only a comment is a valid statement if a comment begins in column one it can start with semicolon or an asterisk arm assembly language instructions can be classified into three different types of instructions data processing instructions memory access instructions and branch instructions data processing instructions manipulate the data within the registers these instructions can perform arithmetic logical or relational operators or they can move the data into the registers the memory access inst instructions move data to and from the main memory since all other operation only work with immediate constant values or with the values from registers the load store instructions are necessary to deal with all but the smallest data sets the branch instructions change the control flow of the program by modifying the value of program counter register 15 they are needed to implement conditional statements loops and function calls